Hey, I think I found a new gargoyle gene. Stick around, I'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so this is not clickbait. Uh, I actually do think that I got a lead on a new potential uh, genetic variant of the gargoyle gecko. Um, this is really kind of exciting stuff for me. Now, just so you know, I do not own these geckos. Uh, I've never actually seen them in person. So long story short, um, I had someone reach out to me on Instagram. We started talking geckos. Um, I had talked to this person before about potentially, you know, buying a gecko from them. They talked about buying a gecko from me. Um, and then they just thought it'd be cool to share some, some cool geckos that they stumbled across. And uh, these geckos are actually overseas, so they're not even in the United States. But uh, I said, hey, do you know what this genetic is? Clearly, there's something going on with these babies. There's multiple babies. Um, and I'll show you some, some videos and uh, some pictures in just a second here. But uh, they said it's all speculation right now. So what we think it is is actually, well, actually, let's hold on to that for one second. I'll get back. So. What's kind of fun is, so I asked for pictures. Uh, I asked permission from this person, and we actually talked to the people who own these geckos, um, and they gave me permission to make this video. Uh, I think they're actually excited for me to kind of talk about it and share it with uh, you know anybody who's willing to listen on YouTube. So I'm just starting out, so I'm kind of honored here. Um, the nice thing is, is that not only did they send pictures, but actual video, which kind of adds a little bit more validity. Again, I cannot, you know, claim that, you know, these are 100% authentic. I believe they are, to be personally honest. Um, I don't think someone was, would doctor a video like this um, and just freely share it. Um, I think that uh, there is definitely a genetic component to these geckos. I know they wanted to, you know, really take their time and, and prove it out. Um, so they're not selling me one of these geckos. I wish they were. I, I did ask, <laughs> you know, I'd be stupid not to ask to see if they'd sell me one, but I, uh, let's get to it. So let me show you uh, a picture of one of the babies, uh, and then I'll let you know what I think it is. All right. So before I dive into what I think this new genetic mutation potentially could be and show it to you, um, I'm going to show you first, this is an example of a blotched gargoyle gecko. Um, most of you know and uh, have seen these geckos before, um, but I think it's important to kind of show what we, we have in the hobby first and then show you how different this potential mutation is. Um, next up, we are going to show you a picture of my uh, striped gargoyle gecko. This is a nice six striped gargoyle gecko. Um, so really, these are all polymorphic traits. Uh, they actually can be bred together, and you'll see some geckos with both blotching and striping. They are not necessarily genetic traits. Um, listening and talking to a bunch of breeders over the last year, year and a half, um, I'm no expert in this, but what I've been told is that um, you've got the base coloration, which can be anything from white to brown to red to yellow to potentially an orangish color. Um, and then also you've got your pattern color, which is the blotching or the striping. And that can be a range of different colors and intensities as well. Then we move into what we think are the very first traits, the actual genetic mutations that could be passed on either as a co-dominant, a dominant, or a recessive trait. Um, I'm not going to go into what those things mean. There are plenty of videos out there that go into that. But the first one that I want to point out, and again, I don't own any of these uh, pictures or uh, geckos. This is just me talking about it. Um, these, uh, the people who own these geckos have publicly shared them on social media, on Facebook. That's where I'm grabbing these images. So um, I'm giving credit where credit's due. So the first one is uh, from Lizard Wizard uh, Reptiles. Uh, he posted that he's working on what he calls the clown mutation. Um, don't know much about it. Looks kind of cool. I think it, it's having some like bullseyes on the side. 
Um, really interested to see what comes out about this. If you know more about the, the clown mutation, um, and uh, I think that it's being proven out right now, uh, please leave a comment down below. Uh, I would love to learn more. Then we have a few people working on this from what I can tell, but the, the most prominent person that has publicly spoken about uh, the hypogene or potential hypogene would be um, David from Tiki's Geckos. So I know he's working on that, and I believe uh, there's some, a few other people, um, Eclipse Exotics, um, maybe if I'm not mistaken, also uh, Rackhouse might have uh, some some uh, hypo babies. So once that's all proven out, uh, and uh, David's uh, white boy uh, proves out as well, that could be really a fantastic gene to work with. Um, I think, you know, he's spot on saying that if you can mix that with a really nice red stripe gecko, imagine that just the pop and the, the color. Um, so I'm really excited to see that genetic. Now, for the moment you've been waiting for, what have I been talking about? Well, here we go. All right. So this is the gecko. This is one of three geckos I'm about to show you. Uh, it's the one with the least amount of expression, and it kind of just looks like a funky-looking baby, right? But if you kind of notice at the, the back of its head, right before it starts to show its stripe, there's a odd patch of skin that's a little bit off-color. And you really can tell in its sibling that there's something a little bit more going on. Now, this one really starts to show what's going on here. Um, you can see almost like a translucent skin. Um, that's what it may be. This might be a translucent gargoyle gecko. Um, again, I don't know what I'm looking at here. I don't think the breeder knows, but that is my best guess. This is what a, if you don't know what translucent is, this is a translucent bearded dragon. The babies really do show the, the skin. Um, how it's it's transparent and translucent. That's where they get the name. Um, but that's one guess. So this last picture that I'm showing you here is the best example of whatever this genetic trait may be. Um, as you can see, the entire head and most of the body has been affected. Uh, right behind the eyes, you can really see that greenish, purplish coloration. Again, I don't know what's going on here, but I, just speculating here a little bit, I think that it's only affecting the base coloration. I don't see very much of the stripe pattern uh, being affected here, which is interesting. Um, I think that could be played with a lot. Uh, I think that there's so much potential if this is a translucent gene, or or maybe it's a you know a funky enigma gene, or it may even be some sort of like reverse pied I've heard. So I, I think it's translucent, but again, I don't have these geckos and I'm no expert. So let's get into these videos here. Uh, I was sent three different clips and, uh, you know, let's just watch them together and enjoy seeing history be made. Uh, in my opinion, I think that this, uh, the information is going to come out relatively soon on what these are. Hopefully some breeders, you know, not only overseas, but here in the U.S. can get a hold of these. I would love to be one of them, but I highly doubt it. And, uh, you know, if we can figure out what this is, I think it's going to be great for the hobby. Please do me a favor. Uh, if you're watching this and you think this is as cool as I do, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you think this is a translucent gene? Do you think this is something else, a funky pied? Um should we give it a totally different name and uh, come up with something uh, fun? Obviously, it's not up to us to name this gecko, gecko but um, why not put it in the comments? And uh, since I'm starting out, please you know, share this with a friend if you find this as interesting and as fun as I do. All right, so let's wrap up this video. First, I'd like to thank Kyson Willis for introducing me to these geckos, showing me the pictures and getting me really excited about this. Uh, he also introduced me to the breeder. Unfortunately, I don't know the breeder's name, uh, his or her name, and I, I apologize for that. But I do know their Instagram handle, and uh, I'll share that with you now. So go follow. It's G-A underscore R-G-O-Y. That's G-A underscore R-G-O-Y. 
Um, that way you guys can keep tabs on any future, you know, updates, pictures, videos, things like that. Um, I did ask if I could see, uh, parent pictures of these, these babies. And, uh, I think that'll hopefully give us a little more information about, uh, you know, what we're dealing with here. But, uh, if you guys would like to see a video like that, or if you found value in this video, please, you know, like, subscribe, do all that Facebook stuff. I, you know, it really is helpful in motivating me to continue to do this. Um, I'm just starting out, so I need all the motivation I can get. And uh, I'm just having fun with this. So not looking to make any money or, uh, you know, get famous. Uh, I'm not going to be famous. But I think it's, it's you know, this is such a community where I, I've learned and absorbed so much great information over the last few years. I just thought it'd be important to get back and I'm having a blast sharing this with you. So again, if you're having as so much fun as me, I uh, share this video with someone else and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.